Okay, so another painting of Solomon Kane figures, this time the barman, um, tavern, yeah, I think it's just called the barman, uh, with his kegs of, not kegs, his little flagons of beer that he's carrying through, spilt some of it, a bit of fish bones on, on the floor there as well. Um, real cool miniature, uh, and looking forward to painting this one. So we're going to be making full use of all of our browns in this particular um, uh, paint effort, and I'm going to start with Gilliam and Flesh. Now the bar, this barman, this barkeep, he's used in many, well, in the stories that I've used so far and quite a few of them. Um, so it's a, it's a really good figure to get going and get painted soonish. Obviously, if you're playing solo, Providence is key, of course. Solomon Kane is key no matter what you're playing, uh, what mode you're playing. Um, uh, the villages are quite important. Uh, but just look at the start of a... Yeah. Just look at the start of a uh, chapter, and I'll tell you all the miniatures that you're going to be using for that chapter, and therefore you can use get them out in preparation. So just going in with the skin tone there. Mm. Yeah, I'd say this is skin as well. Okay. Uh, hands next. Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> That's not a hygienic way to hold a beer. Not that hygiene was paramount in these days, in, these, in the times this was set, of course. We see a hand, kind of. Oops. Okay, so that's getting flesh. Uh, Realise I should have done the foam of the bottles first, of the beer first, uh, which I'm going to do in apothecary white. Now, I was, going to, I was going to do these as Guinness, but I thought, no, they wouldn't necessarily have Guinness at this period of time. Um, in fact, I didn't even know if there was Guinness at that time, was there? I'm not really sure how old Guinness is, um, to be completely honest. Uh, so, we'll do this as, as your classic ale. Would have been more like mead and... Those uh, those drinks more, and this time that Solomon Kane is set wine, obviously as well. These miniatures are just sublime. They really are top notch. It's looking cool. Um, I might, might just do a little bit of white on here. Um, I don't. I'm going to go in with a uh, a kind of um, probably a skeleton horde or something like that, uh, or maybe Agrus Dunes. That's quite a beery colour, ale colour. Lovely. Okay, so that was apothecary white. Uh, now I think I'm going to do his sleeves. And we're going to go in with the sleeves with Skeleton Horde, 
we're going to see a lot of browns being used because it's not, you wouldn't have very clean sleeves let's be honest they're not going to be perfectly white like the villagers that i that i did so uh, i think yeah we'll go in with this a bit mucky a bit yellowy And a distinguish between the snake bite leather that I'm going to be doing his tunic with. Not tunic, his, um, his top with. Again, just letting the contrast paints do all of the work here you know who said painting has to be hard take a lot of time the the introduction of contrast paints really changed changed the way uh that you know a lot of us paint uh, in a lot of ways and i just absolutely love the effect of it on this scale of miniature So this would be the same, wouldn't it? I think. Uh, is that like his? Yeah, I guess so. His belly popping out there. <laughs> That was a bit too much paint on the old brush there. Fact's well, I was going to clear it, but... Yeah, I did a little bit of clearing. But to be honest, when I put the snake bite leather, if it's got a little bit of blemishes... I. I don't think that's a problem. In fact, that'll probably help with the state that this gentleman would be in, let's be honest. Awesome. Okay. All right, so what colour are we going to do or what? Um, I want to put some... I'm going to do some green trousers. Get a bit of colour in there. Should we go with the green trousers? Militarium green. Which I've been doing a lot of the grass with on the uh, other miniatures. And we're going to do that for his trousers. I'll tell you the colour I really want to get for um, contrast paints is a burgundy. Uh, that's, that's kind of what I want. Uh, I've got the red, obviously. And I've got... I do have... I do have got grown to fur. Oh, that's, um, whoops. I was not gonna do these in green. Uh, I am now, obviously. Uh, I was gonna do these in Gorgrunta gore fur or whatever it is, that reddy brown. Um, but no, that's fine. We're doing with the green trousers. Wildwood boots. And maybe we'll use that Gorgrantra on the on his cap. Okay, getting on to trying to see it past my camera. Okay, 
and the trousers. Middle term green. Let's use that Gorgantra fur for his hat. It's got a little um, thing on top of the hat, so I better not paint that. Uh, snake bite leather is next. To do his top. Which go in here. Starting to really come along now. I just love this paint. The fact you can just see see the miniatures come along so quickly. I don't worry about pulling. I won't worry too much about pulling with this particular figure. Because as I say, his his tunic will be mucky in places. You know, it wouldn't be a perfect out of the showroom, out of the store cloak necessarily. Um, clothing, sorry. I'm just being careful not to get on his shirt, because that would look a bit a bit odd. But making sure I get into let's see that was not great. Around here now. And get in under there. And then the last one is to get into here. So I've got enough paint in my brush. Okay, awesome. Give that a bit more colour. I'm pretty chuffed with that. Looks pretty cool. Okay, so this is top done. <laughs> nice. Yeah, chuffed with that. 
Right, next. Would you reckon metal bottoms or I think so. I think this is a metal bottom, probably metal handle, and then wood there. So let's get whoops, let's get our wild wood and start doing some more bits of this. I think he's gonna be an old gentleman, maybe with white hair. Dunno, haven't decided yet. Or might just hit in with some brown. Okay, so now we're gonna do these, being careful of that foam that we made. We made, that we painted. Again, this is gonna be metal, so that's why I'm not being too bothered and careful about uh, below. Just um, getting that top bit on there. <laughs> Not using this big brush for that bit. Just get the small brush. Awesome. I think that needs to be, uh, there's a bit of a mold line here. Um, so I think just I don't know why I just put that paint away because we need to use it for his breeches. Remember, these are not supposed to be um, competition standard. This is just for trying to, especially with this game, I just really want to play the game with painting miniatures. Uh, so the best way for me to be able to do that is get tabletop standard quality painting at a very quick pace. Okay, getting there. 
Nope, this is still in a shop. Awesome. And while we've got the wild wood, we've got a decent amount of floor to paint. So let's get back to our bigger brush, our size one. And get this wood floor with wild wood again. Just carrying on with the wild wood. It is by far the best wood colored color, wood colored color, um, contrast paint. Look at the detail in these, <laughs> absolutely amazing. To get these pre-modeled bases is so cool. They're all very unique as well. Right back to the smaller brush. the hard bit about no, just no, that's fine. bit there about texture bases is the these deep floorboards making sure we get paint on all of them all of those little crevices We're going to be doing the side black anyway, but just in case. So that's that one done. The floorboard's done. He's got his very white shoes. Should we leave him as white? Nike, Nike has. Okay, we've okay, we do have some metal to do. He's got his cloth. So um, I'm going to start by doing the cloth with a bit of white. It's going to be a stained cloth, of course. So we're going with the white to start with. Like so. Uh, and we're going to do all these white as well. Um, yeah, maybe actually. And again, he'll have spillages all down his top. Um, then we're going to get straight in there with a bit of snake bite, uh, not snake bite leather, uh, skeleton horde. Got to do a couple of things with the skeleton horde. Number one, we've got to do this fish. Down on the floor. It's a little bit cartoony, this fish. I 
And then go splash, 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 splash. And uh, let's get some Magos purple, no, Shyish purple, to do some wine spillages. I want to get rid of pretty much most of that and just go splash, 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 splash. Like that. Awesome. And then we're going to use some Agaras Dunes for the beer. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is just add some of this texture. Not too much. To uh, the, the bubbling bubbles. And again, just a bit of uh... There we go. Right, hair. Hair, hair, hair. Before we do the hair, let's go in with some Leviathan blue. Very deep blue. For the tassels. Give them a bit of colour. Give them a little bit of colour. That's too big a brush. Can do with the brush in between sizes, to be honest. Uh, but th that. That Windsor and Newton is on its, it's lost its point really. I haven't looked after it. If you want it to last forever, you need to be washing it with um, brush, I think it's called brush shampoo or brush soap. I haven't, I just used water. Most of the time I just use the water out of the, uh, the mixing cup that I use. So, I'm, oops, so I'm not, I'm not a great advocate for a, uh, Keep your brushes clean. Now, I am a big advocate for getting a decent brush to paint with. I think it makes a whole world of difference. I mean, I still paint pretty much predominantly with that Winsor & Newton, and it's lost its point. <laughs> Yet it's still better, and it's really, I really like it. So he's got his tassel, his little dark blue tassels. And then we're gonna finish off by painting the feet in black templar. And then we're gonna think about the hair.
Okay. So he's pretty much done. We're going to, need to do the metal work on the base of. What are we going to go for? I think I'm going to go for brown. Brown with this little trap here. Or white. No, brown. Let's go brown. Let's go snake bite leather. Or else he looks a bit too much like Father Christmas. There he is. There he is, he goes, yeah. I like that. All right, let's do the... Metal work. Maybe I'll go with copper rather than just plain old steel. Let's go for co copper, um, copper tankards. So lead belcher for metal work. Oops. As I've been painting the villagers, there is a tiny bit of metal work on the male villager. I've not been doing much metal work. Yeah, I'm going to do copper because it'll be a bit more fun. I mean, the, the sensible, the, the normal way would be just hit it with uh, basilicon and grey and it will give it a really nice metal look. But I want something a bit different. So I'm going to go in with this. There we go, there's the metal. And we're going to finish off the metal using a orange. Yes, Griff Hound Orange to give that copper look. Shall I do it copper? It'll look a bit silly, won't it? Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. It'll look a bit silly. I'm just going to get head in with the normal basilicon and grey 
to hit that usual silver look. And it will be quite a dull silver in this case from years of use that the mugs I'm just going to put, going to put the silicon grey up there as well. I think I've forgotten this little satchel at this back, this little bag. I will do that, don't worry. As we go through, so hitting, trying to hit all the metal here. As I come round, to finish off. Tiny bits here. And then coming up to here. Satchel, what I'm going to do in. I'm going to just do it in black actually. Uh, so I'm going to get Black Templar. That's quickly. Uh, so I'm just going to do this black. Around the satchel. Like so. And then that's the bar keep finished. Need to do the black base, of course, but I'm gonna wait for things to dry. But 37 minutes. <laughs> he's he's looking all ready to rare to go. Can't really see his eyes anyway, that's why I haven't painted the eyes in. Doesn't need it. And he's going to be delivering his beer that he spilled everywhere to his patrons. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, keep painting.